Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Our last mild day of the year. I said we'd hit 53 in my three degree guarantee, but uh, I kind of thought we might get a little milder than that as the sun came out this afternoon. The lighter winds. I mentioned yesterday that this afternoon could really turn out to be quite nice without the rain, the sunshine, and lighter winds. Hit 58 in Boise today. These numbers are going to start to go away. This 58 is going to turn into about 35 to 37 on Saturday. So get ready for the colder weather, and it will kind of step down tomorrow. Stay there for a couple days and then step down again on Saturday to that cold weather coming on in. So again, the high temperatures in the valley, we hit 60 in Ontario, 56 in Twin, 57 in Mountain Home, 45 in McCall, had snow on the ground in McCall with the snow with the past couple days and we hit some rain, then it stuck around and now it's just patchy snow cover uh, on the ground in McCall. In Stanley, the snow cover is pretty much gone now, but a tremendous amount up in the Sawtooths and then Sun Valley you've seen uh, again basically in the valley locations, not too much on the ground before you get up to the mountain and there is a lot of snow uh, in those uh, higher elevations. The current picture again, we're in the 50s, 30s in the mountains. The rain is pushed to the south. The uh, higher elevations of the Magic Valley, some showers around. That's about it. But this dry weather has been working its way in from the north and west as the real cloud cover is pushing down to the south towards Salt Lake. Still some cloud cover to the north and west, upper level low uh, pressure center here. But notice instead of the jet stream coming in from the south, look at all the clouds going in west to east. Our jet stream really beginning to take on a westerly flow now and this cold weather that's been locked in Canada a portion of it will start to head in our direction also to the center part of the nation the real moist track of air is sliding to the east so now while we're going to turn the sites to cold weather and a chance for snow the precipitation is going to be a lot lighter now because we don't have that real flow of moisture out of the south but there'll still be some shots of moisture going into central Idaho especially over the next couple of weeks that will start to pick up the snow levels here or, or lower the snow levels pick up the snow amounts and in the valley we have a chance for a few flakes of snow in the air on, th on Friday and again on Saturday, but nothing major. You just may see it blowing around a little bit. In the mountains, some isolated snow showers this evening mostly disappearing. Here's into tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. I think we're going to see a good deal of sunshine. Watch out for some fog tomorrow morning, but then partly cloudy skies during the day. Decent amount of sun, not bad. Upper 40, still above average. And in the afternoon, only a couple snowflakes around the sawtooths, the white clouds, and maybe in the higher peaks of the west central mountains. We push this ahead to Friday. Better chance of some snow now developing here. This is midday Friday, but it, again, it's the Central Mountains, not much in the Treasure Valley. Friday night, Saturday morning, we have a chance of a few snow showers drifting on through, but really, that's about it. Nothing major. Most of the activity staying to the north during the day tomorrow, so kind of a ho-hum day. Over the weekend, look at that cold air now blasting down into the center part of the nation, and we will get a portion of that cold air coming in this weekend. Treasure Valley forecast looks like this. Coming up for tomorrow, instead of upper 50s, we'll be in the upper 40s. Forget the showers till 9. I forgot to change that. It'll be a part cloudy day tomorrow with fairly light winds. Watch out for some patchy fog, uh, reducing visibilities during the morning hours, but some sunshine later. Colder in the mountains, lows in the 20s, highs in the 30s, a mixture of sunshine and clouds, and winds will be on the light side. My on your side extended forecast, there's the colder weather. Two days in the 40s, over the weekend down into the 30s with a chance of some snow showers. Friday night and Saturday morning, a blustery wind blowing during the afternoon on Saturday. So if you haven't put the Christmas lights up and you're planning on doing it this weekend, <laughs> you don't have the mild weather from today left. It will stay cold. A chance of some rain and snow Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as well. So turning the corner in December, bringing in real winter weather. All right. Thanks, Scott. Coming up on today's Six on Your Side. And